Hi everyone, JJ here with ASUS and I'm excited to talk about the latest generation of ROG gaming software which comes included with many ASUS ROG gaming notebooks such as the G752VS that I have here next to me. Now in most situations when you talk about these notebooks you're usually going to have a discussion when it comes down to hardware aspects or hardware specifications. Uh, this is going to cover things such as the CPU, whether it can be overclocked, uh, the GPU, whether it can be overclocked, the storage array configuration, IO specification like Thunderbolt or USB 3.1, the gaming grade keyboard, the heatsink and fan assembly solution. In all these regards ASUS has really spent a huge amount of time and effort to be able to provide an outstanding experience so you get a cool, quiet and fast gaming notebook. But but there's a lot more that we pack in in terms of the design and development of the notebooks uh, that isn't covered within the hardware and it's actually going to fall into the software experience. In this regard there's a lot of supplemental software that doesn't get covered a lot but really can help to elevate your overall gaming experience and your day in and day out usage experience. So we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at some of the awesome software additions that you're going to get with the latest generation of ASUS ROG gaming notebooks. So first up, let's take a closer look at audio, specifically Sonic Studio 2. This brand new audio suite which comes with G-Series Notebooks really allows gamers and enthusiasts to be able to fine tune and tailor their audio experience, whether it's within music, movies, games, or videos. So let's take a closer look and really see what it offers to enthusiasts and PC gamers. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at Sonic Studio 2. Now jumping straight into the user interface, you're going to see that you're greeted with three different portions of Sonic Studio. Sonic Studio, Perfect Voice, and Casting Enhancer. You're also going to see right here at the top that you can quickly make adjustments to your microphone levels as well as your headphone or your speaker output levels. Now we're going to go ahead and first talk about Sonic Studio. This is pretty much where all the customization is going to occur to the audio that you're listening to in real time, whether it's going to be in games, whether it's going to be in music, whether it's going to be in movies or videos. Now first up, you're going to see that you have a profile manager. At the touch of a button, you can go ahead and select different presets that we have already defined uh, for music, movies, or gaming. Now uh, all we need to do to be able to turn on Sonic Studio is just uh, click the on button and this will automatically uh, enable the functionality and you can toggle back and forth in real time to be able to hear essentially how this is being applied to, to whatever you're playing or listening to or watching. Now, if you want to quickly reset everything back you can do that just by clicking the reset button. So we can see here as we switch between gaming to music, uh, there's essentially a different level of customization that occurs. By default, you don't have surround enabled for music and there's lower adjustment in terms of the bass boost or smart equalizer. Uh, now, ultimately, if you want to be able to go ahead and further fine tune this, you can. You can go in and adjust the bass boost, the smart equalizer, uh, the reverb, and the voice clarity. These are all fully customizable and available to you. And for reverb, there's additional options that are available uh, for you to further customize essentially the reverb experience. Uh, for users that also want to be able to adjust the entire frequency range in terms of an equalizer, you can either select predefined presets that we have available to you that include music genres as well as different types of gaming genres like first person shooters, racing, or RPGs, or you can go in and have an extremely advanced level uh, when it comes to the EQ preset. Now one of the things that I really like is the ability that I can go in and define my own preset. So let's say I've jumped into a game, might be maybe The Witcher 3, Grand Theft Auto, Evolve, Marvel Heroes, uh, Battlefield, Overwatch, whatever it might be, and maybe I wanna go ahead and have a specific increase to bass boost, uh, the equalizer, and uh, I also wanna uh, kick up the voice clarity to be able to ensure that dialogue and things that I'm hearing are a little bit sharper and clearer. Uh, then I can go ahead and create my own profile. And so let's say if this was for Evolve, uh, stage two, I can just go ahead and uh, save that. And now I have a custom preset that's available to me. And if I want to be able to go ahead and share this, I can. You can see here that you can quickly take a look at the different ones that are available to you. Uh, if you downloaded different ones uh, from uh, communities that might be hosting them, you can also have that as an option. All the way around, a lot of flexibility when it comes to this. And if you need to be able to remove it, you can just delete that. And then you're back to the baseline presets uh, that are available to you. Now, another great option is going to be here in terms of the audio player. Uh, you can go ahead and click the play button, and the advantage that you're going to have by clicking the play button is that it will provide you a real-time track. And so the advantage of having essentially this real-time track is that you'll be able to go ahead and make adjustments uh, and listen to a consistent audio track and it essentially uses an in-game kind of audio engine uh, so that if you want to be able to see what happens when you're making adjustments to voice clarity or to bass boost or to smart EQ you can do that while listening to this track in real time so that's a nice easy way to consistently be able to see what's happening to the audio as you make an adjustment to it and once again once you're done with that you can either keep those settings uh, quickly toggle back and forth between them or you can just stop playback and you could also save it as a preset Choice is ultimately up to you, but all the way around, a lot of granularity and flexibility when it comes to Sonic Studio. 
Now that we've given you a quick run through in terms of what you can do with Sonic Studio, let's go ahead and actually show you a real time example of this, of some recordings we've done. So you'll be able to go ahead and hear what the audio sounds like without Sonic Studio applied, and then once again with Sonic Studio applied. So now that we've talked about Sonic Studio, let's talk about Perfect Voice. This is one of my favorite applications on the notebook. And the main reason being is that it really provides a distinct improvement to the audio experience that you have, not only for your personal microphone, when you're uh, essentially chatting it up with friends and you're gaming online, whether you're using a uh, TeamSpeak, Ventrilo, Steam Chat, whatever it might be, uh, but also that it can be applied in terms of post-processing to incoming game audio and help to clear it up, stabilize it, and overall provide a much better audio experience. So uh, let's once again, take a closer look at the interface and see what options are available to us. So jumping into Perfect Voice is as simple as clicking the Perfect Voice tab. From there, you're going to see that you've got the same uh, primary set of options in terms of microphone and speaker or headset adjustment in terms of the volume levels. Now, directly below that, you'll see that you've got the noise gate mode. This is essentially the overall post processing that gets applied to your microphone uh, to an incoming microphone or central voice, uh, and allowing you to essentially have improvements to uh, three key categories. One, a volume stabilizer. Another called noise gate, which removes essentially ambient noise uh, that occurs essentially between your natural cadence as you're speaking. And then noise reduction, which is overall uh, removal uh, or essentially uh, post-processing to environmental noise uh, that's around your area. So with these three things applied, you can get quite a bit of an improvement. Um, now, if you want the granularity and control to be able to go ahead and define exactly how these are working, you can go to the manual option and then you can customize these exactly how you want. So it's a very simple option in terms of being able to customize this how you want it. I find in most situations, it's actually advantageous to go with the uh, auto mode. It works really well. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is also give you a real time example of how Perfect Voice can help to improve the overall microphone experience. Hello, welcome to the Sonic Studio 2 incoming voice communication testing service. This service recreates an incoming voice communication in real listening conditions. Please turn on the perfect voice in incoming voice options to see how the voice sounds clearer and more natural. Hello, welcome to the Sonic Studio 2 incoming voice communication testing service. This service recreates an incoming voice communication in real listening conditions. Please turn on the perfect voice in incoming voice options to see how the voice sounds clearer and more natural. So last but not least, we have Casting Enhancer, which essentially allows you to leverage the Perfect Voice software, but while taking advantage of YouTube streaming, uh, whether you're talking about YouTube gaming or Twitch streaming. Now with this notebook, of course, you've got the GeForce experience, which is fantastic as it leverages built-in logic that's part of the GPU that does hardware uh, encoding and decoding, which is fantastic because if you're looking to be able to stream out to these services uh, in uh, high resolutions up to 60 frames a second with customizable bitrate options and a whole lot more, um, you can do that. And the great 
thing is that it happens with little to no impact to your overall gaming experience as it happens on what's called a fixed function chip that's built into the GPU. The great thing is that Sonic Studio has been tailored designed to be able to support these type of activities. So if you're gaming and then streaming, you can go ahead and enable these functions so that you can get a better audio experience while you're streaming out to viewers, as well as also take advantage of it if you're doing local recordings as the integrated uh, hardware acceleration and encode and decode engine that we also talked about. Also, it takes advantage of being able to offer up to 4K uh, recording as well as high bit rate and high frame rate recording uh, that once again has little to no impact to your overall gaming experience. So again, overall, when you talk about the wide range of features and functions available to you, a lot of these don't have necessarily anything to do with the core specification, but they tie in uh, to the core specification to ultimately give you a better experience. So wrapping things up, I think it's pretty easy to see at this point that the overall value that you're gonna get from the ASUS Sonic Studio 2 Audio Suite, which includes three awesome applications, Sonic Studio, Perfect Voice, and Casting Enhancer, really do elevate the overall experience you're gonna have day in and day out with an ROG Gaming Series notebook. And that it's not all just tied into purely the hardware specification of the overall design of the notebook. In this regard, this is really where a lot of additional value is found within ROG Series products is these next level details that which we implement to be able to provide that much of a better experience, regardless of whether you're talking about music, movies, videos, or games. Now, I also am really a big fan of the overall consistent user interface that you're gonna find for the ASUS Sonic Studio Audio Suite, which really allows this level of customization and granularity and control to be executed consistently and easily each and every day. Because without that type of simplicity, you're not really gonna probably utilize these tools day in and day out. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or feedback, feel free to go ahead and drop them into the comment section. We're always interested to see what you have to say uh, regarding our features, functions, design, and so much more. I'd also strongly recommend you make sure to check out our description for the latest links to ASUS ROG related content portals, whether that's gonna be the edgeup.asus.com website, ROG Arena, and many others. So make sure to check that out. And as always, of course, don't forget to subscribe so you can make sure to get locked in to the latest YouTube related content for more things on the ASUS G series of gaming notebooks and so much more. As always, take care, take it easy, enjoy the rest of your day, and don't forget to subscribe.